budgeting friends and happy Saturday and welcome to those who are new to my channel. Hello, um, happy Saturday to you as well. Today I'm going to be working on a, a couple of different binders but I do have my long-term savings binder here but I did get my tax return back so that's the money that we're going to be using today to fund um, different categories. I'm also going to be putting money towards my sinking funds as well. So I did get a total back of 1403 so let's go ahead and count that really fast. I'm going to put some sword kick on just really quickly. Talk about this is such a game changer. <laughs> I never thought to purchase this, but it makes a world of difference. It makes it a lot easier to count. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4, and 3. So here is the 1403. Oops. Okay, so I have a lot of plans for this money. And I feel like I think I did a pretty good job of like um, dispersing it amongst my sinking funds, my long-term categories, and all of that. Let me see, do I still have enough space? I do not. This is the first time I feel like I've ever had to go all the way back. Okay, two and then one. Wow, that looks like a lot of money. Um, okay, let's push this back and we're going to start actually, you know what, I don't think we're going to start with this. I think we're going to start with my sinking funds. So let me go ahead and get that binder. Okay, so I actually changed my mind again and we're not going to do my sinking funds first. We're going to um, do one of my challenges in my um, savings challenge binder. I want to put money towards my car maintenance challenge because as you guys know, my car has been having issues and so I just want to make sure... I'm gonna move that um i just want to make sure that there's money in this sinking fund just in case um i do need to buy her tires or something like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put 200 dollars. and i already did the math so i have to color it all the way to this square right here and then this five so let me go ahead and um fast forward this for you guys Okay, so there is a 200, and so now I should have 301, which I do. So now I have 301. So at least I have something in here, um, just in case anything else happens. So that's the only one that I'm going to be working on in this um, binder, so there's that. Okay, now on to my sinking funds. Um, I made myself a new dashboard, and I made myself some new envelopes too, just because I wanted to mix it up. These I'm keeping because Edwina from Wina Budgets made, the, made me these, so there's no way I'm not going to use them. I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm keeping these two for sure, but the others I did change. Um, but okay, so car tags is getting skipped. Car maintenance already got money. I'm not putting anything in oil change. Christmas, family fun, these are all getting skipped. Um, okay, medical. Okay, so medical is going to get $50. And so now it has... 50, 70, and 80. Okay. Subscriptions is not getting anything. Target is going to get 150. Okay, so it has 100, 50, 70, 90. Oh, you guys, the 50. <laughs> 100, 50, 70, 90. Um, 210, 25, 27, and 28. Not 28. 100, 50, 70, 90, 210, 15, 17, 18, 218. I wish I had 228. <laughs> I wish I was putting more money in here. <laughs> um, okay, and then vacation is next. Vacation is going to be getting um, 325. It's going to be getting a good amount because... Like I said, um, we are planning to go to Mexico for the summer when the girls are on summer break. So I need to have money in this envelope so I can buy my ticket um, and all that good stuff. Okay, so now vacation has 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 10, 15, 22. So 622. 
And so I think that's enough for like airfare. <laughs> um, and that's about it. Okay, so that is this binder. And let me bring back my long-term. Okay, so here's my long-term binder. And actually one other thing that was supposed to go, it's not technically, well, it is for my sinking funds, but it's for my holiday binder. And that is gonna get 48. So I'm gonna just take that out right now. So 20, 40, five, seven, and eight. So this I'm putting to the side because that you guys will see um, in my holiday stuffing. So there's that. So let's go ahead and get started on these envelopes. Okay, so today you guys, for sure, we are finishing um, my niece's challenge. I made it so that what they're getting is um, gonna help me finish this and start the new challenge that I made for them. So we're finally on the last letter and all I need is five, 10, and 15 to finish this one. Totally forgot to tell you guys that she is getting 165 today. So 100, 50, 60, and five. And the reason why I'm giving her so much is because, like I said, I'm trying to have this same amount for both of my nieces when they turn 18. And my older niece is obviously older. And um, I started saving them, saving for them at the same time. So I have to play catch up with her. So that's why I'm giving her more. So let's go ahead and color these in. Okay, so that is that. We are finished with this one, yay. I wish I would have put like the date that I started working on this. That way I could see how long it took me, but I know it took me maybe like a year. <laughs> um, and then I created new challenges for my nieces um, with their favorite characters. Um, so Ishelle is gonna have a cinnamon roll as hers. And I just made it really, really simple and I made it for 440. And then Malila's gonna have Karomi because that is her ultimate favorite and the same amount for 440. So let me put this to the side. Okay, so so technically I have 150 since 15 went to that other challenge. So let's color in 150. Okay, I'm just gonna do a light color for now. So there goes 150. Okay, now let's add the 165. Okay, so she, she should have 775. So five, six, seven, 50, 60, 75. And she does, so that is perfect. Okay, the same thing with Malila, she is, well, she's not gonna get 165. She's not getting that much because like I said, um, I'm trying to play catch up for my older knees, but she is gonna get enough to color the last 15 in. Okay, so that's what that looks like, yay. Great. And then she's gonna be getting 65, so 50, 60, and five. So $50 is gonna go towards the new challenge, which I'm realizing is right here and I didn't color in yet. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna use the same pink for hers. So let's color in $50 worth. Okay, so there is that. And now she should have 675. So she has 5, 6, 50, 60, 75. And she does. I'm just so happy I was able to put money into their um, envelopes. I really didn't think I was going to be able to, but I'm happy that I, I had something left over that I could put in there. Um, okay, so now we're going to be working on emergency fund. The last two that are getting any kind of money are my emergency fund and then new car. Actually, three. Just kidding. And my Roth IRA. So my Roth IRA, I was able to put 150. So that is this right here. So we'll color one of these in. And 
I'm not sure, but I'm gonna color in maybe like three quarters of the way. So did you guys get your tax return back? Or what do you, and if you did, what are you using it towards? What are some of your goals that you were trying to put your money towards or any bills or anything like that? I feel like I know this is money that we essentially lend the government, right? Um, but it's still nice to get it back um, because it is helpful. Um, okay, so now in my Roth IRA, I should have 875. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty, seventy-five. Here goes the 875. Okay. And then, like I said, the last two that we're going to be working on is my emergency fund and then a new car. So let me get those challenges out. So we can go ahead and start our new car first. Oh, I was going to say, oh no, I did something wrong. Okay. So yeah, we have a 50 for the new car. That's all that I'm going to put towards new car. I feel like maybe I should have put a little bit more, but honestly, I wanted to put more money in other funds. So that is what this looks like. Okay, let's bring this back. I need to make new envelopes for these as well. I feel like I've had these for quite some time. Okay, so now we should have um, 1800 for new car. So we have 1500 Six, seven, fifty, and eight. So we're only, we're getting really close to two thousand. So that's awesome. Okay. And then last but not least is my emergency fund. Let me bring out my calculator. Um, it's getting two hundred today. So let's go ahead and start marking these off as to what two hundred dollars covers. Okay. So we have ten. 20, 50, 40, 15, 50, and then do we have another 15? Right here, okay. So let me just speed you guys through and color this in. Okay, so that is that. And we're getting really close to finishing this one too. That's really exciting. Okay, so emergency fund. It's now getting 200. So now we have one, two, three, four. So 4,000. One, two, three, four, five. So 4,505. Yep, 4,505. That's exactly what I'm supposed to have. <sighs> well, I am feeling really relieved after getting my tax return that I was able to put money in different places that I've been wanting to distribute more towards, you know? Um, and I'm really happy that I was able to put money towards my car maintenance because, you know, okay, so I call my car Betty. <laughs> um, she's been giving me some issues and it's been getting, you know, she's getting me a little nervous, but... Anyways, um, I did want to just say really quickly, I forgot to mention there, during this video because I get so like in the zone, but I wanted to say, um, say thank you so much to Jen on a Budget. She sent me this darling little Easter card, the sweetest. I'm not going to read it on camera because you guys know I'm really private about those things, but she did send me the cutest challenge. And this is part of her new challenges that she launched. So please make sure to check her out. I will have her details down below, but it says that there's truly no bunny like you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've said this time and time again, but you guys know I am a sucker for puns. I love it. So I'm so excited to put this into my rotation and it comes with a built-in envelope. So I'm so excited, but thank you so much, Jen. That was so kind of you. Like happy mail is my love language. I just love getting cards. You don't even have to put anything into it, just a note. And that's like enough for me, you know? It just makes me feel so special. Like you thought of me, you know? You thought of me and you wanted to send me something and just thank you. That was just so unexpected, you know? Um, 
But yes, well, on that note, I do want to say happy Easter to all of you guys because Easter is tomorrow. And if you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you're having a wonderful spring. Hopefully all this rain and wind is not driving your allergies bananas because I know it's making my allergies go black or crazy um but yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day a wonder wonderful rest rest of your weekend um and until next time you guys i will see you on monday oh and before you leave please make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and if you're new to my channel i hope you will consider subscribing and until next time you guys i hope you will all take care and be well bye